welcome to the 25th of June. It's a Friday and I have my heatings on. Let me tell you. And that was before, before I put on a halter neck top on that I had to get my heatings on. I thought <laughs> it was really, I mean, my hands are still cold. I was actually, I had to see down here, my dressing gown had that over me because it was really it has it's been it's been sunny it's been rainy okay i'm doing that thing talking about the weather but it's just has a streak of, i need to get the heatings on i cannot get a heat in my body today so okay i am getting ready to do my karen millen haul and you know years ago the only place i ever shopped from was karen millen because my everyday gear was kind of work gear which would be lower end that I would wear but for the weekend I would shop from Karen Millen and this is a Karen Millen top isn't it gorgeous that I, oh, I pulled it out the wardrobe I haven't had this on for years bye it's Rico really cool. going away he's doing his last um, food delivery so but honestly this this is why I love them and I, I kind of fell out of love with Karen Millen I don't know why and my tops all got kind of really quite tight on me you know I have occasions I have occasions when I can fit into them again and I have occasions you know when I kind of watch what I'm eating and I have occasions where I just I put them on and I don't like them because they're very fitted and if you have any bumps they will show them any bumps they will show them just now i'm having a, a no bump few days <laughs> well i put it on okay so that's it that's all i've, I've just come on to see how cold it is <laughs> basic any updates any gossip is there anybody i can think of at the top of my head to gossip about no i think i've done all the gossiping to be done <laughs> cheers Oh, let me tell you, that's a sparkling Pinot Grigio. It's all right. I can kind of check the calories on it, so it's fine. Um, on my lips, I have... Oh, I remembered I'm going to tell you something else now. On my lips, I have two lipsticks. I tend to do that. I have a Dior and I have an Estee Lauder. The Dior one is... 760 find it difficult to um work out a six or an eight because my eyes are so bad but i have put i have put an eye test um this is called favorite that's a dior one so that's more of a, a red one and um the other one i have on is an estee lauder and i really really rate Estee Lauder lipsticks. I really rate Estee Lauder lipsticks. Never hear anybody talking about them. This is in the colour Envy and I just mixed the two only because when I put it on I felt it was too pinky in comparison to my nail varnish. Which is the nail varnish the Sally Hansen I bought from TK Maxx for $2.99 in the colour 554 New Flame and when I was in during the week they had loads of these back in so I mean I have been loving it I've really been wearing it loads in fact I, I took it off and then my cousin messaged me and <laughs> she was sending me a picture and I could see her her nails and they were this color I says oh I like your color she goes well she says when I went and got my nails done I said to them I wanted the same color as my cousin so she I influenced her and then she influenced me again into painting them again because I absolutely love that color okay so that's that. Oh, the other thing I was going to say, my eyes. I don't know if the camera will pick up. Thankfully, it doesn't. Instagram, if I use, if I don't use a filter, really picks up. So today I've been on Instagram and it really was picking up. Let's call them wrinkles. <laughs> it's like my eyes are shriveling up underneath here because, again, something is irritating them. So I stopped using the moisturizer the number seven i think i'm just going to stop all number seven products i'm not replacing any of them again because it's really 
it's like my eyes look terrible in real life like oh really dried up I had to put steroid cream on again and I put coconut oil on them and I don't know I don't know it's just it's funny thing is I didn't have this and now I've got it and I'm not really using anything new it did start up when I started that new number seven moisturizer I, I, I know I've, I've spoken about this before but it's really infuriating when something is irritating your eyes it actually stings my my eyes are stingy and then anything I put on them is stingy as well even products that are not I'm normally okay with I don't know the other day I did say in the vlog I was I had sanitized my hands and it didn't dry and I touched my eyes and I felt the sting so I don't know if, if it's that that's irritated them again or anyway I'm, I'm that's it I'm not repurchasing any of the number seven products and I'm gonna start um getting all my Estee Lauder ones again slowly surely I will be adding them in right I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my Karen Millen video now so catch you later yeah, that's the caramel and hold done do you know now like I, I'm ready to go out and party because I'm I'm all kind of because I've been chatting about caramel and dresses and all of that and I've had a, <laughs> a glass of wine and I'm made up dressed up well I've got jeans on on the bottom and I'm ready to go out let's go out are we ready Let's grab a handbag. Which handbag? <laughs> I know I'm crazy, but hey ho. Life is short, people. I keep telling you, enjoy it. You know, don't be afraid of having fun. Don't be afraid of being silly. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> Let me tell you. The other in one of my comments the other day, Susan Lord referred to me, which she's very right in doing, because it's very true that uh you know that the dress you know it wasn't for a more mature woman <laughs> i was like mature woman where's the mature woman i don't see myself i'm sorry listen i know i'm 56 years young but i still don't see myself as a mature woman is that bad come on is it bad that i'm even admitting to that i just don't see myself as a mature woman mature woman when I read that in the comments I was like mature woman I would definitely wear that dress I mean it, that was not the reason I I'm talking about the Diane oh my god I've spoken so much about that dress the Diane Von Fonsenberg dress and um you know, I, I did a video on that just in case you haven't seen it and you, you just happen to be watching this vlog, which I doubt it very much because I know it's only my closest friends that watch my vlogs and family. Um, so, I've lost track. Anyway, I'm not a mature woman, okay? I'm a girl. <laughs> That's why I hate being referred to as dear. Remember we did this, had this conversation about being referred to as dear? I think that makes me sound mature and I don't like it. I know I'm too honest for my own good but hey ho, like I said. Life is short, enjoy it. Cheers. Right, as I'm not going out anywhere, I'm going to go and get my jammies on and get all of this off and hope this irritation clears up by the time I go to the Balmoral I know you're sick of hearing me say go to the Balmoral maybe by the time this vlog is up I'll be at the Balmoral who knows I've got a backlog of vlogs to do so um yeah I suppose I better go and um, edit one <laughs> we're just chatting like friends are we not yeah are you going out I mean, I know a lot of places have opened up. Our case is here. I'm sorry, I'm bringing up COVID. But our case is here. I just remembered something else that was on the news today on this Friday, 25th. Matt Hancock? Hancock? Is that his name? Matt Hancock? Something like that? 
<laughs> Health Minister. Yeah. Um, apparently, allegedly, there's photographs, allegedly, um, snugging, having an affair. <gasps> See, there's some gossip for you. I know. Back in May, we're all, we're all, you know, we're all told to social distance. You know, we're not even cuddling our grandchildren. Come on, let's be serious here. Like, we were afraid to cuddle our own grandchildren, our own family, my own sons. I didn't hold, right? And this man has his tongue down this woman's throat, allegedly. Allegedly, but come on, photographs are everywhere. And his hands, Mr. Hancock. Hancock, is that his name? <laughs> I've watched so many of these things on um, Twitter and oh, I've been getting them sent and all that, that, I've, that his name is like been, okay. So anyway. Okay. Again, I've lost track of what I was saying. So, yeah, you know, health minister, secretary, I don't know, whatever he is, got caught with his pants down, basically, allegedly. Cheers. Good morning from Georgie. It is the 27th of June. It is Sunday. Georgie spent yesterday with Yaya, didn't you? Judgy, can you not speak because you've got toothpaste in your mouth? <laughs> can you say good morning? Mm -mm. No? Okay, I'll let you finish washing. And then you can tell us who bought your pyjamas for you, okay? A fairy brought my pyjamas. A fairy brought your pyjamas? Yeah. Because they're your favourite pyjamas. Where did we find them? Do, 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 okay. We found them outside, didn't we? It was a surprise. Wow, and you said, what did you say, thank you to the fairies? Uh-huh, good girl, you got the toothbrush the wrong way round. <laughs> I need a little bit more water. You need a little bit more water, okay. Good girl. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth, early in the morning. Good morning! This is Sunday morning. Yeah, yeah. And Georgie. Mm. Right, we need to get organised. Yesterday, so jo Georgie spent the day yesterday and she had an overnight and we had a great time. So we're just spending time and just having fun together. I am still struggling with my eyes. I've just put some coconut oil on them just to see how they get on. I've avoided all makeup, everything yesterday. Um, and Rico and I are going to film the Q&A today. Poppy? Cricket? Georgie, did you have breakfast? Yeah. Who made your breakfast? Papa. And what did he make you? Toast. Toast? What did you have on your toast? Marmalade. Marmalade. Do you like marmalade? And are you going to show us your nails? Wow. You wanted rainbow colours, didn't you? You didn't want the same colours on every nail. This is what's going on right now. Georgie, what are you doing? <laughs> You're dancing on Bapu's shoulders. Bapu can get up. Oh, wow. It's a beautiful morning, isn't it? Wow. So this has been finished. Rico finished that off yesterday with all the stones. We've moved the bird bath here. These have to be put in the corner over there. Uh-huh. So it's tidied up again. Here's my tomato plants. I also moved my little greenhouse thing up there until we got a strawberry until we get the new shed, which is coming Monday.
Oh, wow. There's one there. Do you want to pick it? No, I want no one. You want, do you want to pick it? Go on then. There you go. Yeah. Just pick it up from the side here, look. There you go. Oh! Good girl. And the other one. And the other one? Yeah. Will I get that one? Yeah. Oh, somebody's been... Oh, I think the birds have been picking that one, Georgie. Well, somebody's been picking it anyway. I'll give that to my poor. It was another one in. Mama, I want to do dirty air. Is that we're gonna wash it? No. Right. There's the potatoes in there. Mint here, jasmine's coming up everywhere. This will be dismantled soon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, there's Lily. Um, I want um. mm -hmm. Do you want to eat it now? We'll wash it now. I'll put some sugar on it for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nobody eat that yeah, the birdie never eat it, that one. No. no. Mm-hmm. Is it too warm? Yeah. yeah. George is enjoying her little what are they called? Cupcake. A what? Cupcake. Oh a cupcake, that's right. Okay, that's Georgie away. So I'm just putting the washing out. <laughs> As I was putting it out, yeah, I know. Anyway, as I was putting it out, I was hanging out her little pyjamas. And I'll tell you something, still gives me as much joy to put baby or children's clothes on the washing line as it did when I used to put my own. I know. I don't know, it just makes that, I just get a content feeling when I see children's clothes on a washing line. I know, just me. Anyway, I'm thinking we're going to do the uh, Q&A in the garden today. It's one of those days when the sun comes out, it's absolutely beautiful. When it goes in, it's cold. <laughs> but I'm, I'm thinking I might. We'll see, it depends. Sometimes you can hear the music that neighbours are playing and we know about YouTube and music. Anyway, I'm going to finish putting this out now and then we'll settle down to all the questions. Welcome to uh, Saturday the 3rd. This is what's going on just now. Anyway, Georgie has just arrived, more importantly. And uh, I'm looking so glamorous as uh, per usual. Grace her through as per usual. Right, let's go see Georgie. Well done, Georgie, clever girl. You can't catch me. Oh my god, oh my god, you got too fast. Whoa! What's in Gabby for on? How are you, Bree? How are you, Bree? Hello, and welcome to the 4th of July. It's the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to anybody that is celebrating. Okay, I'm just back from everywhere. I'm just going to unload my bag. I'm going to do a little haul with you because we all like a little haul. Right, let me move my laptop. What should we do into the bag first? No, we'll leave the bag. It's just the same old stuff in my bag anyway. And then it all will be lying about here. So, I went into Boots and picked up a few things. Look, I'm going to paint my nails as well. I'm needing painted. <laughs> Look terrible, don't they? I know. I was trying things on in the car. I was trying everything on in the car. So as you can see, I have no makeup on. If my eyes are looking a wee bit white, I'm gonna explain to you 
in my haul as I get down to it. Cups. Pringles. More Pringles. Honestly, it's gonna get it's gonna get good. We're gonna gonna do a boots haul. I'll we'll put the camera stops there. Oh, I saw these in BM Marmite Greys. These are yummy, by the way. They really are. They're like porn mini oh they're mini broad beans roasted corn and corn hoops in yeast extract seasoning delicious so i picked up two bags of them rico's midget gems and rico's wine gums my sunglasses which are thrown in the bag terrible i know i'll put them away because i'm not going to be using them okay one mask which is now going in the bin okay let's get on to the good stuff so i you know how i did a review on the it cosmetics foundation i really really love the way that it feels and i got samples of moisturizers and things and you know how i have been struggling so i was there today to pick up my estee lauder ones which i didn't do i thought I'm going to use a full-blown tub of it cosmetics because when I used the samples that I was given I liked them so this is the here we go let's see if we can get the camera to focus and try to hide it between there so anyway this is the hello results wrinkle reducing daily retinol serum and cream so I tried this one that I was, I was in the car so this is kind of a it's really good because you're not touching it so you just pump this bit here and it comes out the middle so I put that on whilst I was in the car I couldn't wait I was too excited to try everything so I tried that and I tried my nail varnish so this is is a special occasion okay so I'm allowed for a special occasion a new chanel nail varnish anterium 885 it's that color there it's just one coat quickly i put it on when i was in the car it's almost it looks almost like a pinky red so this is for my nail varnish for the bow model um my dior mascara which i haven't had for ages so this is the dior show pump and volume hd you know i've been using the pre-mark one which i think is amazing but i got my dior show pump and blah 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 because i haven't had one for ages and right so if my eyes are looking a bit white it's because i picked up this gets great great reviews so this is the bye bye under eye full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer this little top here is 25 pounds let me tell you the packaging is um much bigger than the actual tube so i got light honey ideally i think i would have liked sand light sand golden sand i don't know something like that but they didn't have that one so i, th I thought this was the next one and it really gets high reviews now right this is me putting it on in the car without foundation on or anything so it probably looks really bright but when i first put it on it really looked fabulous and it didn't sit in the wrinkles i don't know now uh, i don't know i'll come back to you when i've got like proper foundation on and all of that to see if i would buy it you know i should really stick to what i say which is avoid as much as you can under the eyes because the more stuff we put under our, our eyes the more emphasis there is on the on the wrinkles so you know i've been struggling with my under eye area i'm extremely sensitive anyway so i bought the it cosmetics um confidence in an eye cream and i've also tried that on in the car as well and so far i haven't been irritated so a lot of money spent in in boots today i've got a color like this a 
that's a nice neon pink I'm looking on my shelf to see <laughs> Yeah, as I, say, I see about three similar ones <laughs> and that's that one but that's only like one coat let me put another coat I'm going to take it off obviously because I'm going to do my nails um, as soon as I've had my dinner I'm going to do my nails that's my shortest nail it's a nail that broke anyway that's what that looks like and that's the Chanel Red let me tell you what this is this is high vis Neon nail paint by Barry M. Anything else? My vouchers, more vouchers, and a wee Chanel serum given to me by the Chanel Red. And that's it, folks. That's all I've got. Do you want to see what I had in my bag as well? Now that I remember, let me get my battery out this pocket's really tight to get into when you've got a lot of things in that in the pocket oh, now I've got no varnish on my hair oh oh and I've had my roots done can you tell roots are done battery and keys card holder agenda brolly pouch and I have my band for the gym which I'm going to keep in there and I have a snot rag which is it clean it's clean keep that in there and that's empty so I'm going to pack that away and I'm going to put it away over here As you can see there's a few bags missing here I'm trying to decide on which bag to use for going away and all of that and I don't know really wanted to use my trendy because I've not really used my trendy so I'm going to try and work my outfit around my trendy I think for at least traveling and I've been trying to decide whether to use the walk look even the GSTs I was going to use the GST for traveling but so I don't know so I've got all my bags out trying my classic mediums away from there just trying to decide on bags and I, I better not put the fingers near my bags just now that I've done my nails okay I'm now going to go and get something to eat because I'm hungry I'm going to go and wash my hands because I've touched all of this stuff and yeah. okay I've had my dinner and I came upstairs and did a first coat on my nails because I just feel better when they're done. So that's one coat of the new nail varnish. Love it. So I'm going to give that, probably do that last thing at night. I'll give myself another, the last coat and the top coat and that's it. I'm going to go and do a bit of hoovering now. It's um, six o'clock. And um, just get myself organised. And I'm having a wee glass of sparkling rosé. Cheers. Just thought I'd come on and show you them because it looked a bit because it was a bit that I just done in the car and it didn't look very nice so I thought I'd show you them now but I look how lovely they are after just one coat but what I forgot was I want to do my toes so I have to take nail varnish off my toes so I'll probably I'll go and do that just now just get Rico to do it for me that's what I'll do get Rico to um take the nail varnish off my toes because I don't want to smudge that nail varnish and then give them one coat as well to give them a dry right let's go and get Rico in a good mood so we'll take the nail varnish off my toes <laughs> there you go that's what 39 years of marriage does your husband takes your nail varnish off your toes <gasps> oh talking of my husband our Q&A video to all of you your comments were so lovely about that q and a really heartwarming really just I just loved how much you all loved it so thank you.